Acheron trailer. After breaking down the Myriad trailer, that was like four plus minutes of crazy amount of lore. We're gonna watch the Acheron trailer. This is the we're gonna watch the Japanese and then the English one, like always, because I, I like seeing both perspectives. Sometimes the translation is a little bit different, and you know, sometimes the motion and the voice act is a little bit different. I like to see both. Let's check out the Acheron trailer and see if uh, there's any more lore that got added to uh, the Myriad trailer that came out like a couple days ago. Here's the umbrella that's in her key art. Dude, this better go harder than any other trailer. Okay, this song. Sparkle! We're gonna have to break this down. Blade? Wait, why is Blade here? Yo, this song goes hard. It's so smart. So wait, 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 wait. I was right. She can, she can be multiple people at once. People were doubting me. There's like, no, I don't think she can be multiple people at a time. There's three of them. What the fuck? She's fighting the Stellaron Hunters. What is this trailer? Okay, I like how they made this like side scrolling. What the fuck? That was crazy. This animation is insane. Dude, uh, that skill animation is crazy. Holy mind fuck. What the fuck was that? Huh? Was that her in her previous planet that got destroyed when she had the makeup on? It? Return to Nihility. Fuck you, chat was right. Motherfuckers did not want to believe me. Everyone's saying she's a self annihilator. She's the emanator of Nihility, bitch. I told you. Ooh, the music. Dude, there's so much going on. I'm gonna have to like go through this slowly. Oh my fucking God. What the? F <gasps> was that, was that final lesson? I saw something there. It looked like Himiko against, where is it? Bruh. Okay, no, that was from the Myriad Celestial Trail. Okay, I was about to say. What the fuck is this power? She just created a fucking black hole? Sparkle's mask disappeared. Did she fucking just kill her? Okay, I have a theory on that that's showing up there. That's why she said, what is this, an illusion? I have a feeling that's what she used to look like in her world before it was destroyed. Like, because she's wearing the kimono, like samurai outfit. She has her makeup done and everything. She obviously doesn't have her makeup done here. I, I think that was what she looked like in her world before it was destroyed, before she became an emanator. Find me. Find me? What do you mean, find me? I have to watch this. Okay, we're going to actually break it down this time and pause on certain spots because there was so much fucking shit happening and a lot of, like, fast frames that I got to go back and pause. I want to listen to the English one after this. Charmony Festival. So Sparkle's fucking with her. Yep, Sparkle. Yep, okay. So Sparkle created an illusion. This music's insane. 
I'm curious why she has her fighting the Stalron Hunters, though. Like, why? It's Sparkle. No, it's not. It's not the actual Stellar Hunters. It's it's Sparkle. <laughs> is Akron like a Hersher? Uh, from the Myriad Celestial trailer, what we saw, technically yes, but uh, Hershers don't exist in this world. So the the equivalent of Hershers are like emanators, pretty much. Wait, it too shall fall. Either way, dust rain. It too shall fall. This is a fucking beautiful trailer. Oh my god. Yeah, that was Sparkle's voice. We're talking about the masked fools? Yeah, this is definitely her in Azumo before Azumo was destroyed. This is definitely her before her world is destroyed. Galaxy Rangers uh, go after hunters if I... Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, it's probably symbolic. You're, you're right. I forgot about that. Dude, this part of the trailer is crazy. They turn it into a side-scrolling game. It's like equivalent to like what Nier Automata does with the different camera angles and shit. That this was so fucking cool. Do your worst. <laughs> so cool, dude. This animation is insane. These transitions are fucking crazy. What did I say? I, I'm just looking at the transition language. On the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. This might be the best trailer. These transitions are fucking fire. I weep for the departed. Gleam, the gleam of old blades. She's talking about the 12 other comrades where they splintered their blades to create the two blades that were left over when she had to destroy finality. That's damn. The lore is getting crazy on these trailers. What the fuck? Restore this lost memory. Okay. This is where I got to fucking, she's trying to, so she is trying to reclaim her memories that Nihility stole from her. It seems like I'm trying to see if there's anything shown in this. Cause they do do that sometimes. Yeah, it's crazy because this literally looks like uh, the harsher of corruption symbol from Hawkeye back there. The eye. I don't think you see nothing. Is this like... Apply your color. The sharpening effects there too? Oh, dude, what the fuck? This is trail is crazy. I wonder if she was an actress in her previous life and, and before she had to be a samurai or, or you know what uh, I'm just gonna call a flame chaser okay that's what I wanted to see find me okay that's her shadow that's her right so I wonder I wonder if everybody from her planet had those horns from Azumo because we never really did those Oni, the Oni had horns, but the Oni were the ones that took over the, you know, the souls of the, the departed that, you know, regretted the way they died and everything. I think her soul got split. It could be that. I like how they use so much symbolism for the flowers, too. Your and my origin. Wait, wait a minute. That's another fucking... That's another reference to humanity and finality. Wait a minute. I've seen her before. Dude, I'm telling you, that was her in her previous life. Because that looks like her. Not previous life, but before she had to, you know, become what she is. I've seen her before. Because I, I, at first I was going to say, that was her friend. That, you know, the... the but that doesn't make sense. That's definitely her. Find me your end and my origin. So this is essentially my theory is that she became both finality and origin, which is insane. It's like if you were to fuse Kiana and May from Hawkeye Impact Third. Kiana is a Hersher finality, and May is a Hersher of origin. It seems like the red version of her. The red version of her, the chrono in the chrono world, the white hair with the red attacks, 
that seems like the finality version of her. And this is the origin, like, you know, the power that she was using in the Myriad trailer. Because if you remember, let me go, let me go back to the, hold on. Alpha and Omega beginning in the end. Yeah, origin and finale, exactly. If I go back to, let me just, I got to get the English trailer. This is going to be, chat, I'm sorry, this, this is going to be another long fucking video. This is going to be another long video. There, there is so much to unpack here. It's actually fucking insane. So if we go back to the Myriad Celestial trailer from the other day that we reacted to earlier, right? If we go to this part right here where she becomes the, you know, origin, the Hersher of origin. There's no Hershers in this world, but we just use that as an example, uh, which is technically Hersher of humanity. So Izumo splintered 12 sentinels, which were the 12 divine keys, and forged them into two bearers. First was Origin. That is literally her. That's the same outfit she's wearing in this picture right here. Okay? It's the same outfit she's wearing in this picture. And look at, look at the red. Look at the red. The fleeting red in the chrono... The monochrome world. Remember, remember that that she says that in the beginning. Let me see if I can find the thing that that uh, Akron says to you when you first meet. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid. Here we go. Here it is. In the coming nights of long, you will you face, face many, many, tribulations many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And witness many tragedies. And finally, and finally, your sight will only sight see black will and only white. See black and white. But please believe me. In that monochrome, monochrome world, world, there will be a glimpse, be a glimpse of, fleeting of fleeting red. red. And when you make a choice, you make a choice it will reappear before you once it more. Will reappear before you once more. That is the line. Dude, the fleeting red. Literally. Dude, it has to be talking about Jesus Christ. It has to be talking about the the the, the like red version of her, the finality version. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that she's both. I think she's her... Sh she's origin and finality. She's both. This this version that we're seeing of her is origin, as they clearly explained here. And then I think she gets the powers of the finality as well. Right there, that's a sort of finality, the bearer finality, right? And so because those two swords broke, you see a tear go down her, a tear of blood go down her eye, and then it fuses... It almost looks like it fused the two swords together and fused and made a red sword. Look. Right here. Look at this. Tear goes on her and she forges, her, forges a red blade. Surely that's why Aventurine, yeah, and that's another thing, because Aventurine thought of her as an emanator of finality, because maybe he's seen this red form before, right? Yeah, dude, I don't know, man. I think she might be both. Th this line is so important right here, and I feel like probably so many people are going to miss out on this. Find me. Your, uh, your end and my origin. End meaning finality. Your end and my origin. All that is past has returned to nihility. Just like tears eventually disappear in the rain. Oh my god, that went so crazy, bro. My God, that went so crazy, bro.
I love how she gets raided May's like armed gauntlet too. Thing. That has to be finality. That's crazy, but she uses the pot. Could you imagine if she's like all three? So, because here's the thing. The swords are what gave the power of origin and finality. So what if it's the sword that gives her the finality power, right? When she's that red form. And then, but she also has the power of nihility as an emanator too. This is actually insane because there's so many like theories that could possibly happen here. Because she does use nihility powers as you can clearly see the fucking black hole right here. This is literally nine. And for those of you that are commenting like, it's IX. <laughs> if you know anything about Roman numerals, that's what Roman numerals stands for, nine. Jesus fucking Christ. This, th these impact frames are fucking insane. This animation's insane. These impact frames are fucking crazy. Look at that shit, dude. That's insane, dude. Don't look back. There's no way to go but forward. She shattered the entire illusion. Yeah, there's the nihility power again. I'm gonna be honest, so my theory, my concrete theory as of right now, in the Myriad Celestia trailer, she has the power of origin in this trailer. She has the power of origin, okay? We clearly saw this. They literally tell her, right here, forged them into two bearers. The first was origin. And the second was finality. End. And as you can see, that is clearly the same color and style of animation that her red form is. I have a feeling that when she draws her blade, she become, she gets the power of finality. I think she has both. So when she's just in her base form, it could be that or it could be that they just fuse together and it's just the power of origin and finality which would be fucking insane because you can see the swords break and she kind of reforges the swords with tears of blood and it turns into a red sword. Um, but she also uses power nihility. So it's kind of crazy. It would be insane, but this is my theory. She's the emanator of nihility because she can use nihility powers, the black hole and everything. But she also has the swords, which are divine keys, sentinels, that have the fucking power of finale and origin, which is fucking insane. But in Honkai Impact, finale has the, all the power, Hersher power. Yeah, so then I guess it would just be finality. Naught means nihility, yes. Yeah, she says naught. Doesn't she say that her sword's power is literally nihility as naught? No, that's not what she says. When she says naught, that's not what she says. That, that she's not talking about the swords when she says naught. Where is it? Is it like right here? Right here. Until the, la oh yeah, she does. Until the last, I touched on this earlier too when I was talking about, how, how did I forget about this? Until the last blade is forged into naught. Yeah, so the end. Or nihility, yeah. Oh, it's different. Until the last, until the last blade, life, is forged into naught. Then she gets the gray hair, which kind of gives me Keanu vibes a little bit with the white hair. Life turned into naught, basically, yeah. So origin turned into finality. That's what I'm assuming that means. But naught would stand for nihility because of, you know, the void, right? It's just interesting because, like, it seems like she's using finality powers, man. Some paths are similar to each other, yeah. Yeah, if, if she has bro- if she had both, that'd be so fucking broken. Did you watch the video that breaks this video down? I broke it down myself. I don't need other people to break it down for me. What, what kind of fun is that as a content creator that is, cares about lore to watch someone else break down a trailer? Keep watching it. Find me. 
There she goes again with that find me shit. Let me watch the English one now. I want to see how she did, Allegra did. Because I lo honestly, there, there's a couple parts in the English one in the Myriad trailer that I liked better. You could always go the Sila approach too, twin personas, but I hope not. Oh, I see what you mean with uh, Valonia. Okay. Dude, May is the most interesting character in this game. One million percent. No, it's definitely not two personas. It's, it's definitely one. She just gets the power when she draws a sword. Thank you guys for all the follows. Apply your this is going to be another long video, but dude, this is the... These trailers are the craziest trailers that Star Rail has done since release. The, like, the Myriad Celestia trailer for her was insane, the amount of lore that was there. Especially if you've played Honkai Impact 3rd and you know the lore of Honkai Impact 3rd. Even a little bit. You know, they had Hershers, right? The Kami of the Hershers. The, the fucking 12 Hershers, and then the 13th one is Finality, obviously. And then you have the 12 Divine Keys, and technically the 12 Flame Chasers. And then you have Origin and Finality fighting against each other, which is like May and Kevin fighting each other, pretty much. Fucking insane. Like, there, there's so much lore and connection to Honkai Back Third if you played both. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think the fucking English might be better. Dusk screen. It's too shall fall. What did you say? What are the top Do your worst. That line went hard as fuck, dude. Do your worst. Oh, dude, Allegra might be the best English voice actor in this game. Besides Welt. All the people that were talking shit and sending her hate before the before she even came out. Fuck you. I dude, I keep saying it. I'm sorry. I gotta comment that out one more time. This transition, the near automata style transition that that game does to go from full 3D to side scroll like that with a camera angle, it's so insane. It's so crazy. This fleeting is dawn still. That is insane, bro. And then these transitions. Look at these transitions. She's so broken. She's soloing three souls. Fucking sell on hunters, even if they are illusions. Oh my god. Wait, whose voice was that? Was that Sparkles? Whose voice is that? That's not Sparkle. Sounds like Robin. Check the description. Oh, that's right. It just says Sparkle and, and uh, Akron. That's it. It has to be Sparkle then. Her other self? But we've seen her other self in that form, and she didn't talk like that. Didn't she talk in the animated short with the in, in the red form or no? I think that's Sparkle. You know how I can tell the Japanese trailer? That shit is iconic. You cannot not know. Oh no, that's May. So that is her other self. That that is one hundred percent May's voice actor. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's Jesus Christ, I love her voice. So she changes her voice a little bit, so that is her other self. Departed. Bring forth the gleam of old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I know Miyuki Sawashiro, Sa the voice from fucking anywhere. Restore this lost memory and apply your color. I've seen her before. Find yeah, you. Find me. Your end. My and my origin. Your end and my origin. That's literally, that's talking about finality and origin. Your end, my... So that's what I'm saying. Like... She may not have two personas, but the other self inside of her is definitely finality. There's no way it's not. Your end. My origin. Because this is the girl that is this version of May right here, right? This version of May right here is, is this May. The one that he literally says... Zumo splintered 12 sentinels and forged them into two bearers. The first was Origin. That's her. And the second was the end. So they have to be your end and my origin. So she's trying to find herself, right, in within her memories because she forgot herself. Because Nihility caused this, right? Nihility is the reason why she has no memories. So that is why I think that she is both. She is, or her real self, her true self is origin, right? Has the power of origin. And then when she draws the blade and gets that red blade, that is finality, AKA end. Both bears are in the same body. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I think both bears are in the same body. It's the nihility because self emanators lose a part of themselves uh, upon becoming emanators in nihility, which is why she lost her horns and turned white. Yeah, her eyes are different. Yeah, that's before she became a fucking emanator. That's what I'm saying. She, like, even though she's in purple right now, this this May, it's be, she's already an emanator. If that's the case, technically she would be uh, walking two paths, which would mean she would be the first. Yeah, being a self-annihilator uh, seems worse than being Yoshi's emanator. <laughs> True. Like Kian and Siren. Yeah, literally, like Kian and Siren. That is honestly, I don't think we're going to get Kian in this game. I'm just going to be real with you. But this is, like, the closest like kind of like lore that we're getting that kind of feels like a, something that they're calling back to for Kiana a little bit. This, it seems like when Siren takes over and you know, their eye changes for Kiana, but this is just permanently for May because she became an emanator until he has destruction and abundance. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that she has both. I think she is both bears. She is origin and finality. The only thing that I don't know because yeah, she has the two divine keys. I'm just gonna call them the two divine keys. She has the two divine keys, I, in my opinion. They like either became one or she has the power of both, right? Because you see the naught, when the sword of life becomes naught, which is, I feel like life is just another thing of origin or humanity. I, I think they just use wordplay as a red herring to kind of throw you off. I think that's still origin. And then when, when they say naught, naught means either finality or it could mean nihility because like naught is like the end or like not the end, uh, like emptiness, void, uh, shit like that. That's what nihility stands for. But naught could, I don't think naught could stand for finality though. That's the thing. But I don't know. I, it, it feels like she has the power of both. It, yeah, naught is nothing, which is literally nihility. Um, but honestly, that could be said for finality too because finality is the end. What, what's, what happens when finality happens? The end, it, nothing. There's nothing there anymore. It's life is over. It's an apocalypse, right? Uh, it's possible she only slightly has powers of origin and finality, and naught is the only thing she has an emanator of. Yeah, because when you she when she uses her abilities, she use she still creates like black holes and shit. So she's she definitely does have emanator of nihility powers, but she also still has the power of the sword, which she fused in in this. Well, watch this one more time. Because I feel like this is super important. The world forged 70,000 blades. 
and only one could save Izumo, which is their sword of origin, Mei. You and I both know the road to salvation does not exist. There's no trace of tomorrow. Resisting the Kamigami, the Honkai. Humanity will eventually become Oni, the end. We pawned everything. All for the destruction of two worlds. Do you, do you guys realize how crazy strong this May is? Can we just think about that for a second? Bro, she beat Finality by herself. That is in, it, while fighting all of these Honkai beasts, technically the Oni, that's fucking insane, dude. Kiana couldn't even do that. Here's why I think they fuse, right? It shows them being splintered, because what did they say? about the other 12 keys. The other 12 sentinels were splintered and created into two keys. It shows splintered pieces of the sword, right? I don't know. I feel like they kind of fused together. There's, there's nihility there. We long to throw it into their shadow. Her becoming a self-annihilator here. Fuse it and forging until the last blade, life, origin, humanity, is forged into naught. I don't know. I think she has a power of it. Because there's, there's a reason why Aventurine says that she is emanator of finality. I think she's both. She has finality powers from her sword, and then she is also the emanator of nihility. Because I, why else? Why else would Aventurine say that? Why else would they write that into the game? Not just to throw us off. Because I mean, if it was just to throw us off, they very easily disproved that every time they showed her animation or any trailer she's been in, where you literally see the power of nihility in the background. You literally see nine in her animations. Yes, I'm calling her. I'm calling Aeon of nihility nine because. IX stands for nine in Roman numerals. So deal with it, chat, or fuck yourself if you don't like it. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, uh, I don't think it was red herring because it was way too simple. It was way too easy. And Honkai Impact or Honkai storytelling is not simple at all. The, like all of her moves show black holes. If anyone thought that she wasn't a Hillary, you're out of your goddamn mind, right? But Aventurine does say that she is the fucking emanator of, of uh, finality which why else would he say that aventurine was unsure yeah but finality was never talked about before that moment i think she's both now and the sword was created f uh, with her power yeah i agree because think about it a lot of people like oh, you can't have both powers why not there there was hershers in hawkeye impact third that had multiple look at look at uh look at siren she had multiple yeah you could consider multiple the multiple the, co the cores the, the first course she had multiple powers so why why two cannot a, a, a character in star rail not be an emanator of both paths galaxy rangers follow hunt aeon bro get the galaxy ranger thing out of your head because i don't even think she is a galaxy ranger uh i'm pretty sure when the real galaxy ranger shows up aka boot hill we're gonna find out if she is or not oh man galaxy rangers might have the gaze uh aeon of the hunt too She's definitely not a guy. I don't think she's a Galaxy Ranger at all. I think it's just a, uh, she doesn't have a good memory. <laughs> That's why when Aventurine said in the story, we looked up, we, we, we went, we reinvestigated her. There's no record of her ever being a Galaxy Ranger. Either she is in the future, you know, power finale and all. Either she is in the future and she came back to the past or some shit like that. Some fucking weird finality time travel shit, which I don't think is the case at all. Or she just was never a Galaxy Ranger. Kevin asked her why the blades were forged in the first place uh, for an end that didn't exist, which would be finality. Uh, but that would mean that the end they expected was a false flag, so they abandoned the path and adopted the Hillity. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think she is an undercover Galaxy Ranger. Nobody in the series knows much about Galaxy Rangers. I'm excited for when Boot Hill comes, to the, comes in the picture because 
when he comes in a picture, it is going to be pretty fucking, you know, a lot of shit's going to be explained. Let me watch the rest of the trailer in English. Yeah, Black Swan also kind of co confirmed the name for it. Find me. Find me. Your end. My origin. All that is past has returned to my humility. Just like tears eventually disappear in the rain. It's fucking amazing. There is nowhere to go but forward. What a beautiful trailer. Apply your color. Find me. Man, there was a lot to unpack in that. That was, ooh, man. That was a fucking crazy trailer. Man, I watched the whole thing was really good. Yeah, a lot of you guys like the yapping sessions. Uh, <laughs> Um, I like, see, I like doing these kind of things. You know, I like, I like breaking things down. I like theory crafting and there, you know, I, I haven't done this long with other videos. It's just this lore that we're getting with May is insane. The Myriad Celestia trailer. I could have talked about that for another hour or more. I guarantee you like not even joking. And then this one, even this one had so many like callbacks to that Myriad trailer and even the animated short too. Like, oh my fucking God, this was an amazing trailer. I think this is my new favorite trailer in the entire game. Best Myriad trailer and best character trailer. They went all out for the shit. The lore, the buildup, the reveals and like more mysteries kind of, you know, more questions being asked now because there's so many possibilities what could be here. But I'm going to be honest, my theory is, as I said, I think that she has the power of both bears and or or just finality. It's either both or, or finality, uh, because every time she draws a sword, she gets that finality power that you see from the Myriad Celestia trailer uh, when it says the first sword as forge was origin and then it goes and the second was the end and they show the end, aka finality and you have the same red aura that's used in all of her skills in her, you know, white form in the monochrome form. And all the animations look exactly the same, same color and same style as that red aura that was all around the finality sword. Uh, so I have a feeling when she draws the sword, she has finality powers, but she is also an emanator of nihility. So she can, she can use both. It is fucking crazy. And, and a lot of people are probably gonna discredit that and say she can't have both. Bro, the Hersher of Finality in Honkai Impact has every Hersher's powers. How can you say that's not possible? It is definitely possible. So I am I am very curious. Do you have the Hersher of Origin? Uh, I don't, but they're going to give a free one. Yes. So I saw that. I'm actually really excited. Uh, if her Red Blade is uh, is uh, red, it's not. Not. End. Finality. Same thing. Her blade is broken. Uh, she uses sh her sheath. Yeah. that's and She doesn't draw her blade. When she draws her blade, she goes into that form. I, I don't know. I'm I'm very curious. 2.1 man. We got less than we got less than 12 hours. No, not nah, sorry. We got less than 23 hours uh, for me anyway on the East Coast because uh, I'm not an Asian server. I cannot wait. I will be streaming live. I'll be doing my polls live when she comes out and I will also be doing my giveaway for Akron live on my Twitch channel. If you guys are watching this video, go follow me over on Twitch as soon as she drops on on the East Coast on the US. I will be streaming, I will be doing my polls, and then I will be doing my giveaway for Acheron and, and guaranteeing you a copy of Acheron. And whatever is left over on what I spent on your account, I'll spend it on trying to get the like going if I get Acheron early. I'm probably going to do $100, $100, $100 until I get Acheron on your account. So maybe you'll get lucky and get both. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts and theories in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my theory here about her having the power of finality 
and the Hillity. Uh, very curious to see what they're going to be cooking up in 2.1 and if our answers, you know, if we're going to get answers in 2.1 or if we're going to have to wait for 2.2 to get a lot more answers uh, for what we've seen here in their trailers. Absolutely incredible. Sawrail, you guys are cooking. Shoji is cooking. I can't wait to see where the story goes from here, man. Honkai, fine, Honkai Sawrail finally has Honkai in it. <laughs> I'm so excited, bro. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and ring that notification bell to be notified for future videos on Honkai Sawrail, Honkai Impact 3rd, and all the other gotchas that are coming. Solo leveling, we were playing solo leveling today. We got Withering Waves, Duet Night Abyss, Beta, I'm going to be playing on Wednesday. There's so much stuff coming out now. Zenla Zone Zero New Beta. Like, we're going to be very busy on this channel. So if you guys look forward to any of that, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all on the next video.